Sup, I'm Rach. <laughs> so my one of my earliest memories was I come from a, a bit of a chubbier family, and um, they had said to me constantly, "You don't want to look like us. You don't want to look like us." Um, me personally, I gained up to 230 pounds, and then I went down to 109 pounds, and in both bodies, I just didn't feel accepted, and I didn't feel comfortable was the main thing. And I started to realize it was my personality that shows through. Who gives a fuck what weight you are? It is what is on the inside that matters. And you know, when I was big, I wasn't doing anything right. And when I was little, I wasn't doing anything right or feeling like that. So I just said, fuck it. I'm just gonna be whatever weight I want. I'm gonna do what I want and be happy. The lingerie, we went to the stag shop and uh, had some fun picking out the items. We're gonna go to the stag shop to uh, get an outfit for Rachel here because she is gonna do uh, boudoir shoot. So we're here with uh, Crystal and Crystal is helping us out to pick out um, outfits. What do you think? I like it. It reminds me of my spider. In woman form. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling kind of exposed I guess with just the lingerie on and then I had this comfort item or this pet. I feel better. I feel like I can do this now. And so how I was able to bring something super personal into this um, photo shoot that really helped me become more comfortable in this setting. So we just took a shot and I literally went, that's me. That literally looked like some sort of Instagram model that I fucking follow that I'm like, girl, I wish I looked like you. Like, how did you do that? You literally are magic. How? Yeah, no, I'm standing there and I'm feeling like a little lump of cellulite and stretch marks and I pop my hip out and whoop boom! It looked like I've been working on that motherfucker in the gym for months. Like, goddamn. <laughs> I've been so stressed about my flat ass, but somehow with your lighting and your angles, you got the magic. <laughs> so, yeah, mystery man does it again. I've been walking around like this all damn day. And uh, yeah, no, I'm cool, I'm good. Okay, you got it? You got the bump? Yeah. Okay, now no bump. It's sad. It's so sad. Ready? So anybody who is in their skin just feeling insecure and feeling like, oh, I could never ever do that. I could never go in front of a camera. Take it from me. I was 230 pounds. I never, I always wanted to model and I never thought I could do it. I'm so pumped about that one photo. I still I can't stop thinking about that one photo. I won't even lie because it doesn't look like me. Just the hips. <laughs> well, the, the hips, they don't look like my hip. Like it looks like some fucking athletic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyways, that's sick. <laughs> you are honestly, you have really brought up my confidence a lot just by um, coming over and actually doing it with me, you know, doing the posing with me um, and not making me feel insecure, more insecure about the insecurities that are already there. And I've been wanting to shoot with Mystery Man Photography for basically since I discovered you. Um, so this was very, this was epic <laughs> for me. But uh, yeah, no, the lighting is what does it for me. Like your lighting and just how you take your patient and you actually want to get a perfect shot. Just finished a shoot. Um, I showed stretch marks, I showed cellulite, I showed fucking my flat little belly. I don't know, you probably can't even see it, but that was so much fucking fun and I can't wait for other moms to go, huh, if that ridiculous idiot can do it, I can do it. Yeah, what shocked me the most was um, seeing my stretch marks on the camera and just realizing, oh, okay, it's not what I had in my brain, you know what I mean? Or even just the cellulite, I was like, oh, okay. You know, with this photo shoot lighting and this experience, it really, um, it changed my idea of myself kind of thing, which is really awesome. I'm actually a factory worker and a mom and I go home and do doodles. And through this community, I've really realized it's a lot of other women like me who empower each other. Excited the to mystery like boudoir group. Um, yeah, so basically that's just a group of women who have all come together with the same um, idea of, you know, bo body positive and, you know, I'm going to put out there what I enjoy and hopefully others will too kind of thing, right? But um, yeah, no, it's all about body positivity, body diversity, 
encouraging and just all about the positive vibes and love. It is awesome. I love it. It's, it's good to have a place to go and kind of put your insecurities, but also put, you know, what makes you feel good and have other people kind of feed off of that as well. I'm excited because um, originally I did have a few women who were like, oh my God, she's so fit and blah, blah, blah. But you don't realize that I have, I know what it is to be in an, in an overweight body or have these insecurities um, that are eating away at you. And even in a smaller body, I realize the insecurities just change, they don't lessen, you know? And so it's all about accepting what you are in now and realizing, okay, my body gets me from A to B, so I might as well make it healthy. Holy fuck! What the fuck? What the hell? My stretch marks and my cellulite, yes! Holy shit, I look like a fucking teacher or a librarian that's gonna take you out. God damn. Holy shit. This is sick! Yes! Oh my god, this is amazing. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, sorry. <laughs> that was so cool.